So this approach that he has, this OCM, this Rottinger approach, it's very, very minimally invasive, a tiny incision. It's completely muscle sparing, nothing gets damaged. When you arrive at the joint, you're looking straight into the joint from the perfect orientation. The key to the operation is where you position the cup, the piece that goes into the pelvis. And unlike the back approach where you're looking from the back, the front approach where you're looking from the front, or even the side approach where you're looking from the back side of the patient, this is looking straight down the fairway. So each time he does the procedure, particularly given his skill set, it makes it easier for him to orientate the cup perfectly. And um, it's able to be extended. So if you need to do some fancy surgery, or if someone comes back 10, 15, 20 years down the line, you can extend the, inc the incision. Um, it's halfway between the nerve at the front and the nerve at the back. If you operate at the back, most surgeons do, they, they identify the main nerve and move it out of the way and protect it. You can get damaged. If you operate at the front, you identify the femoral nerve and you move it out of the way. Here, you're midway between the two much safer and you don't need to look for nerves, you don't need to look for anything. Uh, blood clots, we worry about them and uh, we give people you know, drugs and things to thin their blood and, and calf pumps and so on. The most important thing is to get up quickly, get going quickly. So because it's so minimally uh, damaging to the soft tissues, the patients are happy to, to ambulate the day of or the day after surgery comfortably. So the, the risk of a blood clot is very low. Um, these are the main benefits of this approach and, uh, and I, I, I'm just delighted that I had the surgery done by him. So I think if you're thinking about a hip replacement, 40-50% of Christian's patients are between the age of 40 and 55. The key is pick your surgeon and I would say go with Christian Clay.